Hello again everybody, welcome back to Altruist Plays Dead Cells and we will finally get the run that we were promised with the really difficult to use sword and the really easy to use ice thingy. Which honestly probably synergized so well that I'm going to immediately put uh, points into brutality just to make that sword a little bit better. Nice. I'm not using that root, so okay. there is a lead time on the uh, the, 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 the zappy ice thingy, which I think may cause us some difficulty in the future, but so far so good, basically. Um, this is a good thing. We can afford to do this because this has some brutality for us. Not the most useful buff to an amulet to give us, but it's a buff nonetheless, and anybody who's played any amount of Darkest Dungeon has probably started saying an XYZ nonetheless, sort of, as part of their daily life. Lots of words, oh, I genuinely thought that would have been out of my way. That was just bad. I apologise for that, but only to myself. That's alright, we didn't take too much damage, and the, uh, the achievement for not taking any damage doesn't happen yet. It's in Alpha. And we're not playing that because they won't let us have nice things. This is fine. This is fine. Give me that and zap that and hit that and yes, this is this is no problem. We should be fine on this. So if I was given this run on Alpha, I would probably be able to get my first door and then just win, hundred percent win. Of course, it helps if you're facing the right way. If it's all the same, thing. you don't very much mind. Do that. Do that, do that, everything dies. Yep, this is an easy, easy victory, at least so far. And as long as I keep rolling correctly, like I did just then, and we'll just sell things that we don't want. Uh, and I'm really, really hoping that this will give us some new blueprints to play with, because, I mean, that, that Joker already took two hits. Let's see. How does that take two hits? That was a good pickup. I would like to maybe start saving more money over at the end of each run for the next run. You stop that. Appreciate that this doesn't have any slowdown. I mean, uh, cooldown rather. It's got plenty of slowdown. That's why I'm using it. Um, I, I like that the balance is that it just doesn't do any more damage the second time you use it. Uh, oh, unless they're full down. Uh, see, I got cocky. But again, if I was worried about getting hit, I would have taken more care. He says. Knowing full well that it is not remotely the case. At least there's nothing to stomp into. <laughs> My favourite trick being to can, get to uh, just stomp myself into the uh, yeah the, that this this yes uh, sewage on the sewers and poison myself and feel like a sad panda for a long time. I like that you can get some momentum on this. So, what's on Altrius was cycling and thought stuff this week? Well, only one real thing really occurred to me, which is a strange thing that I noticed whilst cycling to work. No, I was walking actually. I wasn't walking to work. I was walking. Uh, I was walking to work. Uh huh. No. Uh, but that's because I'd walked away from work. I had already cycled to work once and then gone away and come back. I had things to do. You know, we've got lives to lead us. As workers. You know. It's not all glitz and glamour being a YouTuber. In fact, it isn't any glitz and glamour right now. Uh, sure, we might as well have a skill for a reasonably cheap amount. And it's one that I'm not too upset with seeing. So there we go. Let's go. Having only time doors to get to makes me a lot less uh, anxious to get to them. I like, I'm looking forward to when we get the, the other type of door full time. This cup of tea, by the way, which I mentioned in the daily. Oh, it's almost, it's my second cup of tea of the evening. Oh, that was really bad. Because I had a cup of tea and it really, really hit the spot. You know how they can do? I know some of you watching are going then. <laughs> but it's critical hit if you have an active speed buff. That could be good because if we can find a mutation that gives us an active speed buff, yeah. Um, then... Uh, is there? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this uh, in <clears throat> the 
daily, which I've just recorded. It's the same day. I, I have adjusted the sound volume of the game, and I'm hoping that it's correct now. At some point, I must have accidentally dropped it down quite a long way. Um, by uh, I can say by accident. But... Let's take the, the combo one. That's pretty decent. Um, I didn't do it on purpose, as mentioned, which means that when I looked at it again later, trying to see what was going on, I thought that it was where it was supposed to be. Because I spent some time trial and erroring to see where it should be. So when I looked at it a second time, I didn't know that it had changed, and therefore I assumed it was in the correct place, and then I recently realised that there have been basically no game sound for possibly quite a few videos now. So I apologise for that. It was not intentional, like some people thought it may be. I'm not quite sure why I would do that. And again, it's, <laughs> it's not some secret YouTuber analog, analog algorithm hack or anything. It's just no. I, I got it. It was wrong. Um, so, you know, do ask questions. If you want to know the inner workings of a YouTube mind, it's often it's what or huh. Uh, it's very rarely, oh yes, I have a, a very cogent and well-argumented, well-explained argument. Yes, exactly, right? There's almost never a good reason for anything that I do, except for the fact that it seemed like a good idea at the time, or I didn't mean to, it was an accident. This is true of life. It works all the way through life. Stones targets... Is it more deeps? No. And I've already got a stunny thing. The problem I find with the Nutcracker, I have used it before, I don't need them stunned after I've hit them. I need them stunned in order to hit them. And I'm already stunning them all anyway, because this thing does massive damage, so we don't need a Nutcracker. With this synergy, I'm quite happy with what we've got, mind you. <laughs> Do you know, I don't like the Rapier. The rapier. Oh, I see a thing. We should use the thing. Make as many weird noises as you can. I'll be using it. Hooray! Where's that going to be? Fair enough. Let's rift this challenge. Anyway, I'm hoping that the current audio balance is correct. That you're um, not getting... Ah, do I want more survival? I guess I do, because we've got this. Uh, and then we can do this. And then we can sell this. Because that way, I, the bonus to that... Um, the one that I already had. Why did you run up the wall when I stopped pressing any direction? I intentionally let go of the direction stick to stop you from running up the wall, and yet you have done me a disservice this day. Fire. Roll. Jump. Roll. I can't roll again. A lot of these <laughs> platforms rely on rolls that I can no longer do because I've got it on cooldown. I mean, I really would prefer it if there was some flow. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I try to play these platform levels as though you're supposed to go with some level of flow. Like, it almost seems to me like the whole point of it is that if you get it... It's like Sonic. You ever played Sonic? Well, I couldn't say... I was going to say a specific one. I was thinking Sonic on the Dreamcast. It doesn't matter. Any Sonic. There's this sort of unspoken... Uh, satisfaction. Well, okay. There is a satisfaction to playing Sonic, but it's almost unspoken that that's the point of it. Um, if you've ever played Sonic, which you have, because you are a human being, Sonic the Hedgehog... Well, okay, if you haven't played Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm sorry to hear that you've missed out, but nevertheless, you should know. You play a uh, blue hedgehog with spikes, because hedgehogs have spikes, but the spikes are sort of anime, you know, Goku hair spikes, not just hedgehog spikes. And, um, you go really, really fast. Sonic runs really fast. Kind of the namesake of him. Or at least the inspiration for his name is that he runs faster than the sound. Don't know if he actually runs faster than the sound, or can, but heck, he should be able to. Or else, that was just terrible. Um, you know, it, why Sonic? <laughs> okay, maybe it's a, an allusion to how fast he runs without actually being, you know, directly, literally how fast he runs. I'm not going to break these doors down, by the way. I'm not dealing with 30 of my uh, 30 levels. 
<laughs> Curse. Sonic runs really fast, but when you press down and B or down or B or whichever one it was, um, he rolls up into a little ball and sort of does this charge up spin thing like he's got a heavy throttle foot. I don't want this. Um, and, and then he goes really fast, and the levels are sort of designed so that you can fly around them almost like a, a crazy race car sort of sort of sims. Uh, the only other thing I can think of that does anything similar is Mega Race. It's almost like a roller coaster rather than a race car, to be honest with you. The way um, your momentum and pure speed get you around loop the loops and things like that. And there's a... The idea, it feels to me, behind the Sonic the Hedgehog level is that if you get it right, <clears throat> if you practice it enough times, if you really learn what you're doing, this is tempting, I'm going to tell you that. Because we're doing really well, this synergy is fine. If you get it right, if you press the right buttons at the right time, you just keep going. That, that happens in many Sonic levels. And the most distressing part of playing Sonic is when that doesn't happen anymore. You know, you're trying to learn this thing, but there's just an interruption. And as a result, you lose momentum. So there doesn't seem to be a way through the level that maintains that momentum. There doesn't seem to be a way of using the momentum on these levels about which I speak to, you know, complete them in a satisfactory or elegant way. And honestly, I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog has got one of the most interesting potentials for having levels where with the correct play style and the correct you know knowledge about it um you can get through that whole game if it was designed just so the whole game would be basically press the right button get the right momentum do the right things in the right order and just win right and then rather than becoming a game of jumping on... The, it's not like Mario. I mean, you can jump on enemies, but you have to be in, like, spiky ball mode, or it hurts. Um, so, it almost seems like if you can... If you're going to make a game like that, you might as well reward the players for, like, loyalty, essentially. It's a loyalty scheme. <laughs> The more you play the levels, the better you become at playing the levels, and therefore... Ooh, oh, that's a shame. Um, the faster you get through, and then there's, there's other rewards for beating the levels in a certain amount of time, or you know, with a certain number of rings left to you, and things like that. You know, there's uh, secret levels, and you know, in Sonic 1, the first Sonic at least, the whole point of the whole game was to get to these checkpoints which gave you a secret level. I'm tempted by the ice grenade. So I'm not using this. And this is a brutality grenade, and it I like ice grenades. <laughs> I'm going to buy it. I've got loads of money. Um, you have to... They seem like secret levels, like bonus levels, and they're really cool in the way that they're done. You should look them up if you haven't seen them before, but... Yikes! Whew. Um you have to get to them and then you beat them in a certain way and you unlock a gem and the gem gets you at the end of the level at the end of the game rather allows you to actually I, I seem to remember it's not a matter of beating the final boss it's a matter of when you've beaten the final boss you actually get to free all of the forest creatures that were imprisoned by the boss in the first place with all six gems so you can beat the boss, you can beat the entire game just based on skill, but you have to, for 100% completion, you have to do those things as well. Why was I talking about that? Because Dead Cells has the same problem. Excuse me, I still have tea. And I don't know if I've finished my point. <laughs> I have tea in my moustache, excuse me. Um... We should just put all these in here because we're not going to unlock it. But we'll unlock it next time when we have a terrible weapon. Um, we... It feels like we should be able to... Yes. Um, 
run through those levels with perfect timing and everything would sort of happen around you. It's like Super Meat Boy. That's a really good example. That game is basically what Sonic the Hedgehog could have been. Because in Super Meat Boy, you get some speed up, you get some momentum up, you press the jump button at just the right time, and you keep pressing it in just the right order. And all of a sudden, you've got through the level and you've done, done it in, like, bonus time. Yeah? Including collecting the bandages for Bandage Girl. That's what this feels like it should be like when you go into those challenge rifts. I want to be able to press jump at just the right time. Jump, roll, jump, jump, roll, jump, roll. Right? And if I pick my right beginning jump uh, from the options. Again, with these damn mushrooms. You're starting already. At least I can do that. Stopping those mushrooms is like the most powerful thing I have on me right now. Uh, I can't afford this, but I don't really want it. So that's grand. Um... But it's not because there's a cooldown on the roll and, and etc. Ah! Big up. Didn't even see it. Nice. Get a cell from it, so that's fine. Um, cool. Yeah, the, and, and other such things means that jump, roll, jump, jump, roll is actually jump, roll, jump, jump, help. This is a funny colour of cursed chest. I'm not going to do a cursed treasure on a run, on a. Sorry, a floor where I can just accidentally get wasted by an enemy I can't even see. So, yeah, good, nice one. However, <laughs> the whole place is full of poison now and it's not affecting me. Thanks to it being me poison, not them poison. Please. <laughs> that was terrible. Did you see that? Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. We made it through somehow. We can make it through somehow. Not of them can stop us now. Yeah, what is that song? We can make it. We're in this together by Nine Inch Nails. No offense to anybody who is a fan of any of this, but uh, that's on you. I don't have any um, qualms against Nine Inch Nails. They did do the soundtrack to Quake, so more power to them. But that was We're in this together by I believe Nine Inch Nails. Probably not Limp Bizkit because it sounds too good for that. I'm not making any friends. <laughs> I, I'm not really a fan of no metal, to be honest with you. Well, thank you for actually not making me do that entire thing again. Here's another one. See, that was okay. Um, but, you know, it's, there's a certain nostalgic quality to some of it, because believe it or not, there was a time when I would like going out at night, you know, in the dark. I like going out in the dark. It's really nice in the dark. It means I don't have to squint to see. Some people have a thing known as photophobia, I believe that's the correct term. Um, our friend Avak is such a person whereby simply the existence of, of sunlight, the light in general, it is, his eyes are too sensitive to light, basically. Um, I don't have that, but I do have an aversion to it in as much as I'd rather it were dark. Um, although a lot of the time, <laughs> a lot of the time I just seem to have a migraine, so it's sort of it's its own problem. Um, I, I do have a problem driving at night because of it. But most people's... These days, most people's headlights are made out of the surface of the sun. <laughs> I might have to pivot just to be able to get a weapon that is not trash. Um, <laughs> I apologise, but... This weapon's done well for us, and it is scaling really well with the game, especially with the Frost Blast. But I don't know if it's me, it's not my style. You have to time that so the exploded things don't get you and stuff. It's, just, it's almost not satisfying. I should have used my infantry grenade there, I did forget I had it. That was on me. I can use my infantry grenade for so much more DPS right now, actually, that I really should be. Stop it. Nice. Um, but with these new little bitey things coming along and ruining my day, um, we're really going to have to get this thing dealt with now. Run. Nice. Roll. Stun. Oh, I was hoping that would actually take you out. Or at least stun you. 
going to ignore this Joker because he doesn't need to be spoken to. Please ostracize all things that turn into other things and all things that can see you through the floor before you can even see that they exist. Please, enough. You know what? Let me out. I'm not interested. That was such bad time. Oh, okay, fine. Yep, yeah, cool. So anyway, I was walking back to work. And there was a pub. There's many pubs. That happens. I'm, I'm allowing there to be a pub. I have no problem with there being a pub. The pub said upon it, Merry Christmas. I have no problem with the pub saying upon it, Merry Christmas. My feelings about Christmas will be kept to a separate episode. Although there is a whole lot of words to be had about that. Uh, but, you know, most things these days around here say Merry Christmas. Or words to that effect. You know, happy, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Season's greetings. All that sort of nonsense. Um, it said so. But then here's what really made the message completely different from what they meant. It actually said Merry Christmas, dot, dot, dot. In what world, first of all, what are you doing? <laughs> that was extremely sinister. But then I had to think to myself, how, how curious that a simple row of three dots appended to a message turns uh, a cheerful and seasonal and, you know, welcomed greeting into a threat. <laughs> Such a veiled sense of portent that you ever did see. Let's, uh, let's heal up. Just by appending a series of three dots to your message. You can go from, oh, isn't it a lovely time of year? Why don't you come in and have a drink? To, you <laughs> you would do better to stay away from our Merry Christmases, lest you discover why. Oh. Okay. And I can upgrade it. Can't sell that because it's my first one. So, good on you, game. See, so this is why I like my Frost Blast, because I can kill those without having to time it. And a good thing. I I didn't like it, and I'm probably not going to go into that pub. Not least because the last time I was in that pub, I was... Like, I know I said recently, in this very episode, that I was not uh, unaware of, or necessarily averse to the concept of spending my evenings outside of the house, possibly being assaulted by the... On the inordinately voluminous vibrations of popular music. I can see that there is a certain appeal to that once in a while, don't get me wrong. However, uh, not in this place, not with those people. <laughs> There's a time and a place for everything, and unless it's going to involve something nostalgic like Nine Inch Nails, or similar, or something really, really good like... Radiohead? I don't know what I would like to hear in a, a night out these days. Probably like Foo Fighters and stuff. But all these things are still nostalgic. It's just that they are good. I was talking the other day about um, Chumba Wumba, which most people know of from Tub Thumping, these are V and IE. Uh, I get knocked down and yet I get up once more. You ain't stopping me. Nothing can stop me now. You know the song. Um, you know what? Frost Blast just makes this game so much easier. Yeah, have this. Good. And then this. Haha! I really appreciate the cooldown on my infantry grenade now that I've buffed that. Um, but this was just... This is a trash pub, right? It's playing trash music. It's the sort of place that has karaoke. And... Uh, no offence to some of my favourite YouTubers who may or may not like karaoke, despite the fact that their singing voice um, is more like the cats than the Barbra Streisand who was in them. That was a very obscure way of comparing Barbra Streisand, whose singing voice is apparently good enough to be a Broadway musical, to the caterwauling of our feline companions on this earth. Uh, point being, any pub in the UK that does karaoke 
Uh, it's trash. Mind you, when I was first learning to drink, which is a thing we have to do, all of us, I uh, grew up in a town called Altrincham in South Manchester, and Manchester does have its own uh, favoured beer, which is called Boddington's. It's a bitter, and I believe it is made at Strangeways Brewery, not to be confused with Strangeways Prison. I'm reluctant to unlock the sadist's stiletto, by the way. Um, what can we put money in? This. We'd like some more blueprints to put the rest of our things in. Um. Yes. Perfect. Boddington's. It comes in a yellow tin. I don't know if I've ever seen it in a bottle, actually. But I've had it on tap. And this was the pub opposite Altrincham train station, called the Railway, probably. I think that's what it was called, where I would have Boddington's on tap. And they did karaoke, and that's probably the only time I've ever been to a pub that does karaoke that I didn't think was absolute trash. I took the sadism which gives us buffs near things that are poisoned, because if we get hit, we poison everything, which will give us a bit of a bonus, although it will probably um, wreck the, the healing. Sorry, the freezing. So I'm going to try not to get hit, basically. Um, we do have to deal with conjunctivitis. But don't we all, you know? It happens to the best of us. Yeah, you go up there. I'm not... I don't like that. Good. So our first hit on that is going to do a lot of damage as long as it remains frozen for us. Like this. 585 plus. Which I believe means, well done you. I'm <laughs> going to be quiet a little bit more here because um, this is not a fight I'm so comfortable with that I can just waffle on whilst we uh, go through with it, but nevertheless, I'm going to keep trying to freeze these things because with our bonuses, both, um, many things have bonuses right now. And so I need to use them effectively. Just going to double check. We have poison target for the frost blast, and then frozen target for the broadsword, and then frozen target for the infantry grenade, and then an ice grenade. So we have really good frozen synergy. Uh, so, so there we go. Owie. Owie. It really hurts. Can you not do that? Oh, I was kind of hoping to get you on that. Let's just wait for it to charge us and then chuck a grenade at it. I've just realised it has actually got those tentacles sticking out of it. Like right now. Do that now. Yes. Good. Well done. Stop attacking. <laughs> Appreciate it if you would not continue to attack when there's no reason to. Get down here. I need you. Die. That's really annoying. Of course, once we've um, poisoned it, we can't freeze it for very long, which is going to be a bit of an issue. Anyway, what I was saying was... Bar whatever it's called, with a sinister, you know, don't you dare have a Christmas here. I was out because... Uh, I wasn't out because, but I had uh, broken my wrist or I'd had my wrist broken for me by careless drivers. And I was out, trying to have a good time. Uh, and it wasn't working, because A, I was in bar 29, and B, I had a broken wrist. Anyway, some helpful, conscientious person decided to accuse me of having illegal substances stashed in the cast on my arm. Which I was not pleased with, because I didn't. <laughs> okay. And who was it to them? Like, what were they doing to have come to this conclusion in the first place? So that's my question. Oh, that was rubbish. Didn't appreciate that. I, I still have no... Please, comments. First of all, comments help YouTubers because YouTube prefers videos that have comments on them. Secondly, 
I can read the comments and look. So please uh, teach me, Senpai, how do I avoid this? It appears to me, although I'm no expert, that there is no way of avoiding that. It appears, at the very least. Could be wrong. I'm often wrong. I want you to tell me that, that I'm wrong. Oh, that was a bit of a waste. They're coming towards me, I can't move. I'm finding a little bit of a problem with the older... Uh, this um, particular out um, weapon here is that I can't move when it's decided that it wants to attack. Yep, I can't roll a second time and I didn't realise that thing was coming towards me. I kind of sort of need to bait them. So if this thing has decided that it wants to attack me, it's going to flip an attack. Sorry, attack for me. It's going to flip an attack out. Um, which means I have to be aware when <laughs> I am unable to do anything other than swing this flipping sword, which I don't want to swing. That was really good. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> the um, poison, although giving me decent DPS, I'm going to keep using my heal here, even though I don't necessarily need to. Not down here. That's rude. Yeah, get in it. Get in my poison. Uh, not quite. Have it. I'm just going to keep using my skills as much as I can. Again with this. Is there a place I can stand? No. But it doesn't hurt very much, which I'm grateful for. But as soon as I take damage, I'm in a cloud that I can't avoid. Nice. We're nearly there, fellows. Yes, he's done it! And that wasn't too difficult. I'll be honest, I wasn't even panicking. I still had a heal left, I do believe. So let's go and pick up this. Blueprint for the Cursed Sword. Spartan Sandals. I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't know how to use them. And this is done so well that I feel like it would not necessarily be just a betrayal of a, a run that has done so well for us so far. But like a, a pivot that I don't need to do. And a new level that I've never seen before because that was the first time we've beaten Conjunctivitis since we learned to climb the walls. Wow. Honestly, I don't think I need to go for the Cursed Sword. Wait, the Sadist Stiletto is not the Cursed Sword. Ah! Yeah, so we should unlock this. I confused those two until recently when I realised that the Cursed Sword was available to us um, on the daily. So we've done really well. So anyway, I, I do believe that that particular um, pub It's not have my best interests at heart, to be honest with you. What's up here? Can you go any higher? Nope. Why have you done this? Right, I've never been here before, although I have seen it in early access times, but not since. So, I don't know what I'm in for. So far, so good, I think. Oh, not so good. So far, not so good. That's okay. Right, we have a time door. What time is this time door? Four minutes ago. That's I'm okay with that. I don't think I can beat conjunctivitis any faster than I did. Again, remember, tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't understand that boss. I don't know how to do it. So please help me. She's out of her mind. I might be able to get away with using um, the shot from the sword, actually. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Ow. Let's get down here and get rid of you. So this is um, basically what starts happening in most levels like this. Is that I try to get rid of something that is dogging my heels, like that magician thing there. I head towards it. Try and beat it up. And then... And by doing so, I aggro even more things that I have no opportunity to, you know, get rid of. So, nice, good. I really wish that I could poison and uh, freeze 
without causing myself so many difficulties because it'd be really nice if I could free something in the air and then poison that so that it sort of died slowly over time. We will lose our frozen synergy, but the actual raw damage of this is so good. Um, I'm not actually all that bothered by it. So I'm trying to avoid this sort of constant mistake I keep making of trying to get to uh, the, the magician thingies nice. before they can do me too much damage and then just aggroing even more of them and then putting myself in such a dire situation that I can't do anything. Let's just do that. Also, mind you, doing extra damage to enemies that are frozen may not be what we want from the infantry grenade. What we might want is... I forgot what I was going to say. Basically what we've got... <laughs> What we have now got to say. Thank you for waiting. Appreciate that. Because the infantry grenade is very often refireable. The poison that's coming from it causes there to be sort of a cloud around everything that dies, or at least around us. Let's have a look. What's it doing? Uh, infantry grenade. Yeah, the victims are emitting a toxic cloud. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we want. We like that because it means that now we've got sort of this whole grenade cloud combo thingy so all those little flying machine thingy which is, uh, it's a four and it's, just, it's not as good um, are getting in the cloud from the previous one whereas just now they were just dying and it was no good I didn't like it um, they were freezing in the air couldn't reach them now there's a problem right whereas this causes there to be this sort of poison aura so anything that's still left over dies from the ones that we killed. Perfect. Um, yeah. Basically, I'm learning that there is a time and a place for all skills, and you know, freezing things is good before you get to hit them. Help. Roll. Oh, nice. He's done it. But once they're sort of active and flying around, maybe you just want to poison the heck out of them. I think I've done pretty well right now. I am using my poison grenade way more often than my poison... Um, uh, what am I saying? Poison skill? No. Poison actual, you know, poison. No, not poison. Freeze. I'm using my freeze grenade way more often than I'm using my free frost blast, basically. Because the frost blast takes time and it's a charged up thingamajig. Yeah, firebrands on the frozen target? No good. Um, and... Also, what is the water physics? <laughs> talking about? Uh, it's instant. I don't think I have to sort of wait for it, basically. Although, could be wrong, again. It just feels like I can chuck this grenade at any point without interrupting anything and things will just explode. There is, a, obviously, a much bigger cooldown on it, so I guess that's the trade-off, but it's working, so I'm going to keep doing it. Ooh, which way do I want to go? I do not know. This way. <laughs> Can't open it from here. Well, that means I definitely probably want to go. Probably definitely. How do I get in there? I'm guessing I have to go this way to get in there. This could be. Um, I remember some time ago I was. Oh, that requires the architect's key, and I don't have the architect's key. So be it. Um, some time ago I was told. Oh, I was trying to get through something. There was a roll that I couldn't make. I was sort of sticking to a wall and then trying to roll through uh, one of your your little gaps with the dots. You know the ones that make it really clear that you can get through it if you roll, but of course it was up in the air. Uh, Halcyon informed me that I can get through that with a new skill. So I'm waiting for that new skill, but I'm wondering if this is going to be another situation where that would be necessary. I don't think I've seen it yet, because I'm reasonably sure I got to it smashing through the ground. I am not confident enough in this level to take that uh, offer, that offer of a curse chest, but thank you. Nonetheless, I will keep it under advisement that it was always available to me. This is terrible because I don't want to be here. 
good. That was really good. Okay, okay let's do that. Right. Let's do that. I want this thing dead. Mostly. Mostly. I do have just enough time, actually, for many of these things, so I'm okay. Oh, what a burky thing to do. Burke, by the way, comes from uh, Berkshire Hunt. It's Cockney rhyming slang. Just pronounce Berkshire, not Berkshire, even though it's spelt Berkshire. So I don't know why we don't call people Barks, but I guess that sounds silly, right? Although we do call people Curves. Well, they're not recently. I mean, I, I think I was chatting on a while ago. I was going to say, why so many cursed treasures? No, I was going to say, more words need to come back. We've got so many words in this language that are perfect for many situations. Um, and, and we don't use so many of them. It seems tragic, tragical to me. I do like vocabulary, it's a good thing. But you can often make yourself sound old fashioned, you know? You don't want to. I mean, sometimes you do want to, and that's fine. It's your prerogative as well. If you want to sound old fashioned, by all means, go for it. We have a lot of idiomata in our language, as I banged on about a lot of times, that sort of don't exist anymore as words, which I think is interesting. I like this principle because it means that many, many words sort of survive by accident, which is cool. One of my favourite such words is the word wend, uh, which appears in the phrase to wend one's way, which just means to go, right? But it means it's more of a meticulous form of going. Um, wending your way implies a windy route. Uh, the, I don't think the word wend and the word wind are even remotely related to one another. Never the, Oh, you can kick me. That's new. I can also stomp on you and get the crap out of you, so F you, I guess. Nice. Run. Kill this. Let's do it now. Just keep moving. Just keep... Oh, you got me. From all the way over there. Kind of didn't expect it. Um, we don't use the word wend, but it literally means go. Uh, the word went is the past tense of the verb wend, which is the present tense of what we now use go to mean. So... When you when one wends one way, one is simply going, which I think is cool because in no other situation do we even know that the verb went ever existed, and yet there it is just sort of sticking around in a phrase, which is why I like idiomata so much, because the whole concept of them is that they are like individual phrases that have mul multiple words but a single meaning that we just sort of stick together. Where is this architect's key, do you think? Let's try going up there. Uh, I may ever get the opportunity to come back here. I'm probably going to have Googled what to do so that I can find the architect's key and... Uh... Ow. No! Bad. I don't appreciate these invisible areas, by the way. You may think I do. But I don't. I don't even know how to explain it to you. I think it's just very rude. And if you don't understand why it's rude, that's why I need to explain it to you. Like now. I have no problem with people not understanding that things are rude, as long as they are receptive to being told that the thing is rude. The question is, how do you tactfully tell somebody that what they're doing is rude if they are the sort of person that doesn't already understand that they're doing rude things? Because there are people have different approaches, people have different learning styles or, or even problems that can affect the way that they interact socially uh, throughout their entire lives. Where many people would just take knowledge for granted. Uh, we would de well, say we, I don't know if I'm one of those people, but said people would find themselves sort of having to logic their way through what many people would instinct their way through. If I can use two verbs that are not verbs, if you will indulge me. Um, so I don't mind explaining to people, you know, what you did is rude, 
I don't know how to bring up the fact that what they did was rude without them being upset. Uh, I don't... I'll take biters. Uh, I could reset my thingies. Oh, so little money left. I can't really afford to redo that thing either, which is kind of annoying. We are going to do the sepulchre, which is kind of okay. I think I've done actually the hardest levels for me so far, which is conjunctivitis and the level before it, the flaming um, second level of the sewers. What time was this? Six minutes. Yeah, I'm not going this fast. <laughs> You can't expect me to go fast. I don't even know how to go fast. I presume that if I start unlocking things like, you know, the better starting items uh, and things like that, then we can start expecting to go faster because we're going to start off with better items. But again, we may find ourselves getting that just from being really good at the game early on when what is currently alpha becomes the main release cycle. So. Uh, help. I think this is a very good option for, or a very good explanation of why we would prefer to have help. Did I get hit? I must have been. Yes, I am currently getting hit, but I know not how. Can I please have? It's the light. Okay, good. We got through it. Um, I'd like to... I didn't need to... <laughs> even need to explode that thing. That's okay. I'd like to get this. Um, probably this. So the light, as it hurts us, is going to cause us to be surrounded by poison for some time, which is really good. Uh, although it does mean that we're taking damage. I'm kind of okay with it because... Well, first of all... We just need to leg it to the next torch and we stop taking damage again. On top of that, it means that anything that is attacking us whilst we're in the light is going to be having a bad time pretty quickly. Now I mean, uh, I thought I fired that in this direction, but I didn't. Have it you. So, any words that you would like to see have a resurgence. Answers on a postcard, please. Put them in the comments. You know how we like comments because YouTube thinks that we're an active channel if people are commenting on it. Also liking and subscribing. Those are good things to do too. And sharing with your mates. If you're liking this content, your mates will like it too because you have good taste. Right? If you have good taste in content, which you do, then you have good taste in mates. Stands to reason. I appreciate out the uh, opportunity afforded to me by standing in water and then freezing it. Nice. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't like you. Give me that. Poisky, poisky. So we're doing okay. I'm just going to keep stacking up brutality if you don't very much mind because it's killing things and that's really all I'm after right now. The Forgotten Sepulchre is a little bit like having Curse of the, Blo Curse of the Darkness. Curse of the Darkness. I believe in a thing called damage on Isaac, except permanently. Well, it's for the whole level, I suppose. It's not permanently. In fact, that's basically the same scope, but it's it fades in. It's uh, hey, what's that word that I always forget? Do you have any mnemonics for words that you always forget? Because there's a word that I'm trying to think of, and it basically means it, it gets. It gets stuck inside. Like it gets into a system. It's not systemic, although that is a good word too. Right. Okay. Good. I didn't want him following me around all that time. Um. Kind of not interested in either of these. Although a double cross automatic five could be really good. I'm okay. I'm doing okay with what we've got. Let's sell this. Get some more cash. Um. In. It all it, like invasive and then sticks around like. Scabies. You know, yeah. Anyway, it's a good word for it, and I can never remember it, even though I have a mnemonic for it. But my mnemonic doesn't work, so. Get over here and smash. Nice! That's what we like to see. If we can avoid damage just by chucking the right grenades around, and then remembering to wait for the cooldown before we try and do it again, hint, hint. Where? I can see that 
half of a teleport thingy there, but I can't see the other half. It's okay, we're probably going to end up back there anyway. Oh, I like seeing rooms where I can stop. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Thank you very much. Cannot be sold because I've had it since the start of the game. Thank you for upgrading both of the items that I started with, and I mean this sincerely. You have The game has given me an upgrade to both of the starting items, which I was happy to take simply on the basis that they seemed to work well together, and I didn't want to pivot once I started, you know, once I got deep. I, I was on this, I've been on this path, so I'm here now. How did that not die? That's a good question. Uh-oh. I had to use that grenade there because I was scared, which is kind of means I didn't have to, but I think it was probably for the best. Didn't appreciate having to take that damage. Break. Use it here as well to get both of these, that's good. Yes. I appreciate how much damage I'm getting out of this sword now. The Frost Blast's upgrade may not be that important in the grand scheme of things, I suppose. Um, I mean, it does more damage, straight up, straight up, and it's 152% and 100% damage than four. So I probably want to reforge those modifiers. I'm not really burning anything right now. Oh, what are you doing? You don't want to be here. Oh, well. Just leg it. Hey! What is this? Hmm. The treasure hunter with the weird hairdo must have opened this sarcophagus. Never made it back up. Looks like the poor bugger found something, though. It is an ice bow. Just give me this a minute and see how quickly it fires. I am so tempted. You know what? Let's take it. Ah... Uh... Hundred fifty two deeps versus forty four deeps. I'm gonna say no. I've I've come back on myself. The main reason is I don't wanna mess with what something that's working, basically. Was there no It's all the way up there. Yeah, okay. I don't wanna mess with uh, a good thing. Our frost blast plus stupendously damaging sword is working really well. So I'm gonna keep it. Uh, let's never go in that way, because we want to go this way. Oh. Uh, yeah, again, really, really appreciate the uh, ice water thingy. Wolf trap could be cool, but I'm not into it, so let me out. Uh, help. <laughs> help. Okay, good. That's probably the first time in some time that I've actually started taking damage to the Bastion Narada there. Well, obviously earlier on in the game, so this particular run is the first time in a while that I've had to run away from the darkness. <laughs> Every time I say the darkness, I, I mean the Vasta Narada, which I don't really mean the Vasta Narada because that's, you know, that's a copyrighted, uh, presumably by Stephen Moffat, Doctor Who type thingy, but uh, I mean the things that I'm calling the Vasta Narada, by which I mean the literal darkness of the level, despite the fact that the level itself is nothing to do with the band, which believe in a thing called love, something, something, rhythm of the heart. Who knows the words? Nobody! Okay, get over it. Yes, I do want to go there, please. Have you heard some Americans say mnemonic, which is M-N-E-M-O-N-I-C, as mnemonic? <laughs> like it's a plague, <laughs> or like it's made of air, which I guess it is. You know, you, you say it to remind yourself. But it's not like it's not pneumatic. Oh, I thought there was. I didn't see there was a wall. Okay, leave me alone. I'm not interested in taking purple, to be honest. I don't think it's necessary. I would like some light, though. This is where all things start going wrong. Let me out. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good timing. I didn't think that it would have hit the other one there, which is why I uh, started running away. Do I want to go up there? I'm going to say no. We've made it out <laughs> uh, of, of the dark with our lives. 
this level, some the first time I played this level, I found it really easy. Do you remember? And we got through it. I don't know if it was the first time, but I'm pretty sure I got through this level the first time. Uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Do I have to? Yeah, I might have. No, the clock room's down there. What are you even doing? Yeah. Um, and it's it does seem that there's a certain randomness to how easy it's going to be because you don't always have the opportunity to get right back to a a light source. Oh, that's perfect. Does this drop straight away? No. Cool. Right, we're on the clock tower. Clock room? I've forgotten. Victims burn. Yes. No? Uh... Yes. Now there's going to be a lot of poison everywhere, which is going to make it difficult, as we've noticed, to uh, chain our freezing. But that's okay, because I'm pretty sure we're about to die. Please remember, I have had so little practice with this boss. Mind you, please also remember, the first time we beat this boss, it was because we had a way of keeping it still. We don't see smiley faces behind it. It's all that bad. So as long as we can just keep hitting it, and we do have this uh, infantry grenade as well, which is super nice. See now there's poison everywhere, which is no good to me, because I can't keep him in place. Nice! Keep chucking stuff. Never quite sure if I want- ooh that was bad. <laughs> Ouch. I'm never quite sure if I want to do the attack I'm doing, because ow, it's so easy for, um, like, if you've paused the guy mid-attack, ow, nice, it's like, he may finish it off while you're right next to him, it's not something you want to be a part of, like that, ow, but like, it's going to keep it Poisoning himself. Poisoning himself by throwing things at me. He's welcome to, I guess. Nice. Heal. Now. Yes, yes, yes. Let's finish this. I think we might be doing okay. Slowing this unit down is basically the best way of dealing with it, in my opinion. Or at least in my experience. I don't know if, it's, don't know if my opinion is valid. Do I deserve an opinion yet? I don't know. Maybe. I just have to keep moving to avoid this... Uh, Sword of Damocles nonsense he's got going on. And taking the, uh, oops, I'm taking early the, no, die, the um, grenade synergy, I think was our best bet to be honest with you. Die, no, he's done, <gasps> I couldn't speak because it was so scary. Give me stuff. What have you given me? A repeater crossbow. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Increases your movement speed after killing an enemy. In color, so it's going to be red. Ammo plus three. 75 shots pierce the first target. It's almost worth it. The only reason I'm not going to take this, and you're going to think I'm insane because of the DPS involved. Oh. I'm so tempted to pivot right now. <laughs> And the only reason I'm not going to is that this is a ranged weapon. No, oh, it's just such good DPS. I'm going to do it. You can't... Look, I've made a decision and I'm sticking to it, okay? No one can say that I do not have conviction. <laughs> oh my goodness. How well is this going to go? Who can say? You know, we have oh, such a good opportunity for this to go well. Um... You know what? This is a good opportunity for that as well, because we don't have anything that I want from here. So I might as well use that. Do I want to change these? Grenades, DPS, bleeding poisoned, or two enemies moving? I think so. Yes. I'm okay with my current setup. I don't think we'll make it to the boss, and if we do make it to the boss, then I'm going to apologize up front. We are not beating this boss. We have made it to the boss before, but it was very lucky um, just that I managed to beat the right elites. Ooh. 
run. So that wasn't a good start. Should have used my grenade. That's pretty good. Oh, that's not so good. I'm using the wrong button, mostly because I've forgotten which button to press. I'm scaring myself. Just, I'm, I'm mind flaming myself, I, I don't have to worry as much as I am. So chill out. Nice. Okay. Poisky, poisky. We have already taken more damage than is strictly necessary. That's okay. Just, just chill. You don't have to kill that thing. Right. There are elites. We have to beat the elites. The elites give us keys. The keys unlock where we need to be. I can't kill you from here. I can do that. Okay, cool. The worst elites to fight, to my recollection, are... I can't remember what colour they are. That's the main problem. Ow. Too many of these. So I'm shooting through the wall. I've already made my feelings plain on this concept. Nice. Nope. Nope. Even slowed, these things are much easier to beat. Nice. I'm noticing some themes in the enemies, actually. I don't want a barnacle. I'm happy with what I've got, although I'm not necessarily using it. Uh, this is probably the worst one. Yes. <laughs> That's right, if you get hit by the elites, you're dead. Out of ammo, stuck in this enemy. Give me my ammo back. Nice, at least we beat it. <laughs> That's a good start. We've got a key to the castle, but we are affected by the malaise, which I believe if we get too much of, we are goners. Run! Okay, good. Here you go, have this. That's for you. Oh, you died too. Perfect. So the only problem I'm currently discovering is perhaps not necessarily a problem. Having picked up the melee transformation a long time ago, I'm no longer trying to get close enough to enemies that I can hit them. I really need one more key to the castle. And you're the dirty rascal. Um, we are no longer able... Or, or willing, I should say, to get close enough to the enemies necessarily to activate the melee transformation, trans uh, mutations in the first place. Oh, you have this. Die. Good. Yikes. It's a yikes from me, Kev. It's a goodbye from him. Not been this far in such a long time, so I hope that you are all appreciative. Of Look at this guy dragging his. Um, sword like it. Can't even manage. What a loser. Yeah, nice try. Just check this. There you go. I give my ammo back. That's what I need. Way. You get over here so I can stomp you without actually doing any effort. It did work, although I honestly genuinely thought it was not going to when it first happened. Good. So a bit of freezing and a bit of shooting is working for us, but... Right, one of these elite fights has water, and that is going to be our goal. So you want to pay attention to notice when you're about to... Yes, it's this one. Okay, good. So this is what we want. Beat the crap out of them. Run. Beat the crap out of them. Chuck the grenade. Chuck the grenade. He's done it. Didn't even take damage. Right. Get back out here. Not even going to fight the rest of this floor. Not looking for gold, sh sh scrolls or anything. We're just going to go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We have done what was needed of us already, and we can go straight up here to the front. That was really good. Oh, I do see a 
Okay. Only because I see a shot am I going this way. And also I don't think there's any particular danger between me and the shot. Yes, correct. We have a lot of money. Can't afford it. <laughs> but this would have been great. Oh well. This may be a premature thing to do. To fight the boss right now. Instead of looking for more scrolls. Trying to get the benefit of this floor. This floor could be massive, I think. And I'm not prepared to put that much stress on myself. You can get a third one and unlock something over there. Alright. Why come this far and not try to unlock something else? I'm doing this for the viewers. Not to gain viewers, I'm doing it for the people. On behalf of the viewers. For you lot watching. The little Hulkamaniacs back home. For everyone who's ever fought against the odds and won. For everybody who's ever been brought down by the man. For everyone who's... etc. You get the idea. You have this, and then I'll shoot you from behind. You know, there are many reasons why... There are many uh, weapons that could be so much better for me than what I've taken. And yet here we are. Taking these ones. I've also found this. We do want more HP. So we're going to take that. Irregardless of whether it is best for us or not, really. We're going to pick that up. <laughs> Drop that down there. And... Nice. You're going to... No? Where's that other one gone? Oh, it's gone. Fine. Very good. Fine. Yes. I'm okay with this. We do have one heal left as well, which is super interesting, because I thought that I would be basically a complete and utter goner by now. What is this? Desk. This desk was ransacked. Someone wrote in the diary over the notes of the alchemist, as he called himself. Why do you continue your experiments, you poor fool? We have to stand together in the face of adversity. We have to isolate healthy people from those affected by the malaise. Long live the king! Uh, I believe I am affected by the malaise. But only a little bit. And also, it's gone away. What? I had a one over my head. Oh no, it wasn't the malaise. That was a... Uh, that was a buff from recently killing something, I believe. I want to not be near that thing. <laughs> yeah, that. Let's use this. Where's this going? Far and wide. Bone endless quiver. It's so difficult to decide now. I've already got a bow. I don't want this. Okay. It, it could have had some value to us. It really, really could. Uh, I still think that maybe selling that was not the right idea. But there's only one way of learning, and that's to make mistakes. And as long as we recognise that and just sort of stick to it, it's going to be our odd. Not undoing, but like doing. <laughs> The opposite of an undoing, which is literally just doing. Or making. Hey, that's an idiom. It will be his making. Not like meeting your maker sort of making. Well, maybe. Again, who knows what words are linked together. But this one, this is what we want. So if we find the third one, we can un unlock the thingy that this represents. Uh, I'm really going to try super hard not to uh, need... What am I saying? I don't want to need to use my final heal. Mind you, I don't. I guess I don't mind needing my final heal on the way here. Uh, rather, I do mind needing my final heal on the way. If I can use it on the elite fight, which is here, that's fine. I'm happy with that. But... Oh. <laughs> is this setup good? Or have I got better? Because I don't like either of those answers. <laughs> I don't want to know. Just don't tell me. Again, I still want to know how to properly avoid those um, shots on the conjunctivitis fight. So do let me know. Heck you. I'm getting out of here. Where is it? Here. So now I'm happy to use it. Because I'm pretty sure there's a thing between us and the throne room. A heal spot. So let's use that. That's our final one. We get to sell this, <laughs> take this, which I think I will put into 
We get no more HP for that, so I would like some more HP. Just, just for the last... Okay, we're gonna smash that, grab that, do that. There's the boomerang, which we learned about in the daily. And then, how do we get out again? <laughs> there. He's done it, yes! So we couldn't figure that out the last time we got here, but we haven't picked up, I think, maybe the climbing room. Uh, rune, I should say. So we have... I'm just going to give this to you right now. Let's not even pretend <laughs> that anything else is going to happen right now. Um, ice Shard. Ranged Weapon Brutality. I like this. I would like to unlock this. This seems basically like a Frost Blast, but better. 100% damage to burn. Bleed and target. Poisoned, yes. Why are you buzzing, phone? No reason. It's hiding. Sheepishly. I didn't buzz. What are you talking about? Throne room. Friends, we have made it. This fight will not go well because I don't know it. <laughs> the simple reason I have no idea what I'm doing. However. Also, what the heck? It's changed. So I don't I don't know this fight. Uh, and this Hand of the King fight is different even from the last time I did it. So... Um, I, I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I have no idea what was going to happen there. Do you have to hook? Okay, okay, okay. We'll we'll learn. Don't worry. I can't even just die. You're going to do that. I can't roll through it. It seems very much like the concierge right now. I can't roll through most of your attacks. How do you avoid any of this? Do you just not? Stop throwing things at me. Very rude. I would very much appreciate it if whenever that happened, you didn't, uh, keep, you know, just attack him. One thing at a time is basically what I'm trying to say to you here. These elites are up here, sort of like, no, I'm not joining in. Say these elites, there's only one of them. Incidentally, can I be thankful that we're not on the Alpha branch and trying to deal with the elites from that? What? Which, um, are really very, very un unforgiving. Okay, well, what are you supposed to do? Again, I don't know the patterns of this fight. There wasn't enough time to learn how to avoid the patterns of a fight that you've never done before. I do agree to some extent with the criticism that it's really, really difficult to learn these fights if it's really, really difficult to get to these fights, which is why I'm hoping that the daily run will have more than just uh, the concierge on it. I'd like it to at least have conjunctivitis. Um, but I'm, I'm in no control of that, so we're just going to have to get back to conjunctivitis ourselves naturally and do better each time. I've taken the war spear and the repeater crossbow for this time, and hopefully we will unlock something good on the way. But until then... Thank you for watching. I do appreciate all your comments, both on Discord and in the comment section below. Remember, YouTube appreciates it if you comment in the comment sections below. So just say whatever you like, as long as it's, you know, meaningful. First is not a comment. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you will leave a like. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't. And I hope that you'll see me next time. But until then, I'll see you.